Welcome to another episode of Century Countess. In today's video, we are going to be doing the tie for our cosplay costume for Jack Skeleton for 2024. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I do is I paint the interface in black. There was no black interfacing available, at least in the thickness and brand of interfacing that I wanted this for. I wanted something between thin and thick and they only had it in white. They were all sold out in black. So I basically had to make my own black interfacing with some acrylic paint. This took a lot of acrylic paint. I was shocked. And this was the last bottle in the craft store. In fact, I went to other craft stores and they had literally no paint. And the only other store that had it, it was like $12 for a small bottle. And I wasn't going to waste that much money for a bottle when I could get it for a bigger size for that price. And the weirdest thing lately, I've noticed the craft stores that I've gone to, they're not stocking up on some of their places. I went to a Joann's and their place in one uh, aisle was pretty bare. There's no closing signs or anything. Anyway, here it is all painted uh, solid black. Now we're going to take some fabric fusion paint and we're going to merge the two together. I would have sewn this, but um, I felt like it would have taken away the jaggedy pointy bits. So I decided gluing would be better and I think um, I chose well because this turned out really good. At least to me it turned out really good. I'm smoothing the paint now so it doesn't have little uh, ridges and I also would uh, I ran it through with my hands just rolled it out to try to flatten as much as possible so there's no little um, warping I think it's called. Or little uh, wrinkles or anything. I wanted this as smooth as possible. There was one area that would not uh, flatten down. But it was hidden much later. And I don't think you would even notice it if I pointed it out. And then here I am layering it with some more glue. Um, smoothing it out on the other side. So I can fold the other piece over it. And um, that way both pieces are complete. Then all I have to do is wait for it to dry. And um, just making sure it's all lined up. As you see here, smoothing it. Taking a look over. Flat, flattening it, padding it. You know, you name it, I did it. And then I check the ends, you know, just to make sure the ends, which are, you can't really see because it's slightly off camera, that all the ends meet. They're all well aligned as best as possible. Next, we take our back head mold and align it. Apparently, I made the tie a little too big, so I have to uh, trim it a bit so it fits, so the uh, bat head fits. So here I am, that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting on a fold. That way I have a nice even, um, Thing. and sure enough it fits much better later on I gather it and then this clay this clay is really good it takes 24 to 48 hours to dry but let me tell you it's great for cosplay and other crafts and I strongly recommend this brand of uh, clay it's basically a cosplay clay as they nicknamed it but it's pretty good it's really good and like I said I recommend it it's so good for anything for heavy headdresses etc and it's light as a feather it looks heavy but it's light as a feather so i'm sewing the tie now just gathering it a bit also to kind of shrink it a little more so it would fit well with the uh mold of the bat head while we wait for it to dry and this was a little bit of a trickiness um i think this there's footage in here where the needle literally flies away from me or the piece itself flies away from me. I can't remember. Something flew away from me and I had to grab it and I was still filming. But uh, I managed to uh, gather the, the tie a bit and it gave a nice little poofiness like what a regular bow tie would have. And then I uh, laid the skull piece on it, I believe, off camera. And it was a perfect little match. So, of course, I had to refilm that and show you guys 
what it looks like on camera and it's perfect match. Here is the bat head and the mold. This is also a really good mold. A little pricey but it's worth it. Now Jack's bow tie has these little ridges designs similar to his suit but much more uh, less complicated as I'll say. <laughs> so I'll first I just mark where they need to go and I draw them on with this charcoal pencil and then later on I will correct the mistakes with acrylic paint after I um, add the main white color of course and I use the same stuff that I use on the pants which I will also use on the jacket when I get started on that and I'll have an interesting story when we get to the jacket let's just say it was a challenge to get, even get this jacket started, but that's another story for the uh, jacket video, which will be coming up later on this month. So here I am, like I said, I'm making the marks. The center pieces were a little wavy, like the lines on his suit. And then here I am, I'm adding the uh, tack paint paste. Just following the lines, I did notice that I did do an error and I had to reshape a leaf but there was a bit of charcoal still visible so I just went over that with some black paint waited for it to all dry before I did the next step so like I did one side I just repeat on the other side just following the lines and uh, making sure that I don't do any oopers, which I do because I'm on my last, but I'm on my uh, end, end with this bottle of paste paint. As you can see, I'm shaking it to try to get the little bits out. And I forget that sometimes when that happens, there's always a little bit of an exploded poof, which leaves a blob. As you see right there, there's a little blob, which I, and there's another one which I will correct by scraping it up slightly and what little bit I cannot get up. I just go over it with some black acrylic paint. So here I am, I'm scraping it up. Just scraping when I can, trying to smooth it out to keep that little wave line. Next, let's start with the bat head. Let's paint it. I start with a black base, just getting that uh, main color on and then I go over it with layers lots of layers until it's basically a nice solid black uh, bat head. Uh, and there he goes, it flies away, it decides it wants to fly away. Every project that I do, there's always ones that just want to fly away or um, blooper on me. <laughs> so here I am, I'm painting another layer. And I think, here, yes, I'm dusting it with a little bit of silver paint. And very lightly trying to keep a little bit of the black on and it's not showing up too well so I go over it again it's looking good but I feel like I used too much now and so I decided to kind of blend it out try to wipe it off with my hands at first then I go over it with a rag to try to get some details in Sure enough, there are some details that are coming out. Some of the white is kind of showing through again, which is fine because, you know, it makes it pop more. It also gives it an aged look. But then I didn't like it, so then I go over it with more silver, thinking now that there's some lighted areas, the silver will work. And then, um, it just, uh turned out okay um i may do this again in the future <laughs> so here i am i uh darken it i add more color tones to it until i get something that i um think um is visible to the eye next i use this e6000 glue and these sequins i wanted um something a little off i wanted something flashy but i wanted something where it looked like it must have been heavy at one time, but then because, you know, Jack Skeleton's a pile of bones, obviously fancy clothing also decays. So I wanted something where at one time it must have been very blingy, very sparkly, but then over time it starts to fall apart. So I didn't 
add too many beads in some areas and then there were some areas where I just filled it like it was glitter. And here's the result of that. I think it turned out pretty good. I wish it was more sparkly on camera. Now let's add the bat head and the tie and I'll show you the final result. So here's the completed tie. I think it turned out really great. I love the little bat skull. I love everything about it. Um, I really think this is going to be a fun costume this year. Um, stay tuned for more parts of the Jack Skeleton costume making. Please like, subscribe, and remember to hit that bell for notifications for more uh, projects. See you later.